Service Teardown HP ProBook 650G5 Notebook PC How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal On the bottom of the notebook, loosen the eight captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the notebook. Carefully separate the clips on the edges of the base enclosure from the notebook. Remove the base enclosure. Reverse this procedure to install the base enclosure. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Removal. Loosen the six captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the notebook. Lift the front edge of the battery to disconnect it from the connector on the system board and remove the battery from the notebook. Reverse this procedure to install the battery. How to replace the memory modules. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the memory module. Important. When installing the memory module, be sure to align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot in the system board. How to replace the wireless WAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Important. Make careful note of which wireless WAN antenna cable is connected to each terminal on the wireless WAN module for later replacement. Carefully disconnect the wireless WAN antenna cables from the wireless WAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless WAN antenna cables from the wireless WAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the 2mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless WAN module to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless WAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the wireless WAN module. Important! When installing the wireless WAN module, be sure to align the notch in the wireless WAN module with the key in the wireless WAN module slot in the system board. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and wireless WAN module. Removal. Important. If your wireless LAN module had two antenna cables, make careful note of which wireless LAN antenna cable is connected to each terminal on the wireless LAN module for later replacement. Remove the 2 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless WAN module bracket to the system board. Remove the wireless WAN module bracket. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the 2 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the wireless LAN module. Important! When installing the wireless LAN module, be sure to align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot in the system board. How to replace the solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the 2 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the notebook and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the solid state drive. Important! When installing the solid state drive, be sure to align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot in the system board. How to replace the hard disk drive assembly. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Loosen the four captive P1 Phillips head screws identified with a hard disk drive icon that secure the hard disk drive assembly to the notebook. Grasp the Mylar tab and slide the hard disk drive assembly toward the front of the notebook to disconnect it from its connector on the system board. Lift the hard disk drive assembly up 
and remove it from the notebook. Reverse this procedure to install the hard disk drive assembly. How to replace the optical drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Loosen the captive P1 Phillips head screw identified with a lock and optical drive icon that secures the optical drive to the notebook. Press the metal tab on the optical drive toward the edge of the notebook to partially release the optical drive. Slide the optical drive out of the optical drive bay and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the optical drive. How to replace the keyboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws identified with keyboard icons that secure the keyboard to the top cover. Place the notebook on its side and open the display panel. While supporting the notebook, insert a keyboard release tool into the opening in the bottom frame identified with a keyboard removal icon and gently press the keyboard to partially release it from the top cover. Turn the notebook right side up. Carefully separate the edges of the keyboard from the top cover. Lift the rear edge of the keyboard and rotate the keyboard toward the front of the notebook until you have access to the keyboard, point stick, and keyboard backlight ribbon cables and ZIF connectors. Caution! Take care not to scratch the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector, remove the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the adhesive, and disconnect it from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the point stick ZIF connector, remove the point stick ribbon cable from the adhesive, and disconnect it from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector, and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the keyboard from the top cover. Reverse this procedure to install the keyboard. How to replace the bottom frame. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, and hard disk drive assembly. Removal. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channels in the bottom frame. Remove the 13 6 mm T8 Torx head screws that secure the bottom frame to the top cover. Remove the two 8.5 mm T8 Torx head screws that secure the bottom frame to the top cover. Remove the five 2.5 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws in the optical drive and hard disk drive bay that secure the bottom frame to the top cover. Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws identified with keyboard icons that secure the keyboard to the top cover. Carefully separate the edges of the bottom frame from the top cover. Lift the bottom frame off of the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the bottom frame. How to replace the touchpad button board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, and bottom frame. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the five 2 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad button board to the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Lift the touchpad button board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the touchpad button board. How to replace the touchpad board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, bottom frame, and touchpad button board. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the NFC board. 
Remove the 7, 2mm, P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board off of the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the touchpad board. How to replace the card reader board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, and bottom frame. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the card reader board. Remove the three 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the card reader board to the top cover. Lift the card reader board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the card reader board. How to replace the NFC board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, and bottom frame. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the NFC board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC board ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC board ribbon cable from the NFC board. Carefully remove the NFC board from the alignment pin and adhesive that secure it to the top cover. Remove the NFC board. Reverse this procedure to install the NFC board. How to replace the real-time clock RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, and bottom frame. Removal. Disconnect the RTC battery cable from its connector on the system board and remove it from the notch in the system board. Using a non-metallic flat-bladed tool, carefully separate the RTC battery from the adhesive that secures it to the system board. Reverse this procedure to install the RTC battery. How to replace the RS-232 board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, and bottom frame. Removal. Remove the two 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the RS-232 board to the system board. Lift the RS-232 board straight up to disconnect it from the system board and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the RS-232 board. How to replace the fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, and bottom frame. Removal. Disconnect the fan cable from its connector on the system board. Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the base enclosure. Lift the left edge of the fan and slide it out from under the heat sink and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the fan. How to replace the heat sink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, bottom frame, and fan. Removal. Note. The heatsink has either four or six screws securing it to the system board. The heatsink with six screws is shown in this video. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following six screws. Loosen the six captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heatsink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heatsink from side to side to detach it from the system board. Remove the heatsink from the system board. Reverse this procedure to install the heatsink assembly. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, 
RS-232 board, and fan. Removal. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and open the notebook so that you have access to the cables in the keyboard bay on the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board zip connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board zip connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and close the notebook. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board and remove it from the routing channel on the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board zip connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC board zip connector and disconnect the NFC board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the 3mm Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Lift the right edge of the system board off of the alignment pins and slide the external connectors out from the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install onto the new system board. Memory boards, heatsink, real-time clock, RTC, battery. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important, after system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings. How to replace the power button board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, and system board. Removal. Remove the power button board ribbon cable from the routing channel in adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the power button board to the top cover. Remove the power button board from the alignment pin and retention tabs. Reverse this procedure to install the power button board. How to replace the fingerprint reader board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, and system board. Removal. Remove the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the routing channel and adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the fingerprint reader board bracket to the top cover. Carefully slide the fingerprint reader board bracket out from underneath the retention tabs on the top cover and remove. Carefully release the fingerprint reader board from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the fingerprint reader board. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, and system board. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the power button board ribbon, speaker, and wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the power button board ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the speakers. Remove the speaker cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the 2.5mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the speakers to the top cover. Lift the speakers off of the alignment pins and slide them out from underneath the lip on the top cover. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channel on the speakers and remove the speakers. Reverse this procedure to install the speakers. Before you begin, Remove the base enclosure, 
battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, system board, and speakers. Removal. Remove the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and rotate it approximately 115 degrees. Carefully slide the top cover off of the display panel hinges and remove. Important! When installing a new top cover, remove the components attached to the old top cover and install on the new top cover. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel assembly or top cover. How to replace the display panel Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal Place the base enclosure onto the notebook and apply pressure around the edges to secure it into place. Turn the notebook over and open the display panel. Starting near the webcam, carefully separate the edges of the display panel from the display enclosure. Lift the display panel off of the display enclosure and place it onto the top cover. Important! Make careful note of the routing of the display panel cable for later replacement. Peel back the retention tape that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Release the retention bar and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the display panel. Peel back the retention tape that secures the display panel cable to the touchscreen board and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the touchscreen board. Remove the display panel. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel. How to replace the webcam board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and display panel. Removal. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the webcam cable from its connector on the webcam board. Using a flat, non-conductive tool, carefully remove the webcam board from the adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure and lift the webcam board off of its alignment pins on the display enclosure. Reverse this procedure to install the webcam. How to replace the hinge covers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, system board, speakers, display panel assembly, and display panel. Removal. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the left hinge cover to the display enclosure. Carefully pinch the left hinge cover and release it from the clips on the display enclosure. Slide the left hinge cover off of the left display panel hinge and remove. The right hinge cover is removed in the same manner. Reverse this procedure to install the hinge covers. How to replace the display panel hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, system board, speakers, display panel assembly, display panel, and hinge covers. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel and wireless antenna cables under and around the display panel hinges for later replacement. Remove the 1.5mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the left display panel hinge to the display enclosure. Remove the three 3mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the display enclosure. Lift the left display panel hinge off of the alignment pins Release it from the retention tabs and remove it from the display enclosure. The right display panel hinge is removed in the same manner. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel hinges. How to replace the display panel cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, optical drive, wireless WAN module, 
wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, RS-232 board, fan, system board, speakers, display panel assembly, display panel, left hinge cover, and left display panel hinge. Removal. Important, make careful note of the routing of the display panel and wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Peel back the metallic tape that secures the AUX wireless LAN and wireless WAN transceivers to the display enclosure. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel and adhesive that secure it to the display enclosure. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the webcam. Remove the display panel cable. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel cable.